The very first of our visits in our series on entrepreneurial leadership is to Maria 01, a key epicenter in the entrepreneurial ecosystem in the New Nordics. A former hospital, now a Helsinki City initiated incubator and home for some 100 startups, VCs and others. Now not a hospital and home of one of the best lunch restaurants in town. Altogether, definitely a place to visit. As our host for today, we are fortunate to have Voito Kangas, the CEO of Maria 01. So what brought you here to the heart of the entrepreneurial world at Maria 01? I have a very familiar story as for the entrepreneurial movement in Finland. So I started in Slush in mm. um, 2011. So, oh God, it's like seven years ago, I went to build chairs in this startup event uh, as a volunteer. Uh, and from there, I stuck with that for five years more until I became a team member uh, to founding Maria later two years ago. We're a super collective of tech entrepreneurs, early stage companies, hundred of them, uh, early stage investors who belong to this collective and accelerator programs. And the unique part of us is that we're located in an old 130 year old hospital area in central Helsinki. So what we try to do is we try to create a large enough community where you always get, always can get help and answers to questions regarding your company's uh, stage um, and how you're growing. And of course, create a community where both capital and the entrepreneurs are co-located in. A lot of this is actually community created. So we, we, the first companies who moved in here, they, they put the mats in place, they carried the tables and they just sat down and started coding. So, so, so it, it's been this very emergent uh, uh, place. Uh, I think we're the main hub of office dogs as well. So our, our Instagram feed is full of dogs mostly. <laughs> so this is a pretty big place. Actually, some say that this is huge. So how are we in square meters and, and how do you see this growing? Yeah, we're, the, the pilot phase is 10,000 uh, 10, square meters. So it's an old main building of the hospital. Uh, we're doubling the amount of space in the next three years. So the ultimate goal is to be somewhat 20,000 square meters. I think with these numbers, we're Nordic's largest. Uh, incubator um, and a community house. Um, 20,000 square meters would place us sort of like a really an epicenter in the in northern Europe. If you look at uh, five years from now, where do you think Maria, what kind of place will this uh, epicenter be in, in the entrepreneurial world? Looking at the past two years and the fin it's just the Finnish market, we put two billion of new venture capital raised into new funds and existing funds. So, so it's much more easier to get your early idea and product funded than ever. That's one thing. Uh, for Maria itself, when you're pulling out 100 companies in one place and they kind of keep changing and building and becoming serial entrepreneurs, the people inside, I think we're, we're on a sort of track record that mostly everybody who's sat on a startup being an entrepreneur will be here. Do you promise to share with us uh, one of your really interesting companies, uh, Kieku? Yeah. Uh, and uh, I guess Samsa is here with us to continue uh, yes. the talk. So Kieku is basically a people talking to people service. We make an app which allows you to talk. There's artificial intelligence that helps you as a listener to find the talks you care about. The uh, microphones in the cellular phones are so good today that you can actually do almost like studio quality stuff with your phone. So you just press record, you talk, you share, it's out immediately, it's just as easy as posting in the Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, but with voice. And would you have some um, recommendations or snippets of wisdom that you've come across during these years? A lot of time I see people overlooking the importance of having a, having a purpose, uh, finding that, okay, what do I actually care about? And sometimes I think people are trying to do something that they sort of feel is a good business even if they don't care about it. But in my view, uh, it's hard enough even if you care about it. So uh, I would say that, uh, you know, people should try to identify a thing that they care about. Yeah, I think now, now, nowadays establishing a business when you're talking about sort of internet domains and technology domains of of the world is the easiest thing ever. You don't practically need any capital. You need a set of skills and an idea to get going, but after that it's like, just get going. I know people 
who started their companies while they were studying um, made them pretty successful while learning new skills. So they did not have the skills to create a business initially or do the technology and build the product, but they kind of learned as they went along uh, and did the hard work to get there.